One. Everyone two. clap at once. Ready? I'm just fine. <laughs> yeah, everybody <laughs> clap at the same ready. time. Ready? Let's see if we can sneak up real quick. Let's see. Let me... I, I don't think there's any way. All right, ready? <laughs> One, two, One. three, go. <laughs> okay I, I don't know if that helped at all <laughs> uh, i think uh i'm i'm on time ryan's like behind y'all are like extra behind i'm sure we are yeah all from right. but anyways let's just i'm gonna do one clap yeah that's for you, you guys don't have to take part in this one and then we'll get going yep. all right yep all right ready there we go welcome to the demo team podcast we're here today with sleep city with the comma correct yeah yeah it's a it's sleep comma city sleep comma city all right all right yeah i can dig it uh we're here with uh michael and john how are y'all doing hey doing good uh this is john this is michael hey all right <laughs> what do y'all each play in your uh in your band so uh, I'm the singer. I don't really play anything but just uh, the voice. Play the voice. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I play drums. Uh, I am not much help past that. But yeah. A lot of opinions. A lot That's, of the opinions. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm the opinion haver. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I dig it. It's good yeah. to have the, yeah. Every band needs um, an opinion. You know, you got to have a guy. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of guy you need to bring on the podcast, the opinion guy. God, yeah. he's here. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Usually you need a guy with like the hot takes yeah. in the corner. The just take guy. Shouting in the dark. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for yeah. it. I'm definitely need some more hot takes around here, man. We, we've been uh, having hot weather. I, I think hot takes, hot... cold takes. Yeah. We're, lukewarm we're here. takes. I have um, plenty of lukewarm takes. Humid takes, raining <laughs> takes, um, <laughs> dry takes. Snowy got takes. A, Doug Dimadome's uh Dimadome and Take Center. So <laughs> moving right along into it. So how did you guys come about becoming part of Sleep City? How does this band form? Like how did you guys find one another? You know, it was it was interesting because uh we started from another touring band uh back in like 2019 or so. Um, we were in a band called Glass Idols that was touring and uh, it was just kind of seeing the end of its course. But, uh, you know, three of us from that band all decided, you know, hey, we're friends. Let's just make a band with only friends and just try to like, you know, like just keep it as drama free as possible. And then the pandemic hit. So it was still like a lot of drama, but it's it's good that uh, it's good that we're getting back into it. It's, it's been a while for us, but uh, we've all known each other a while and it's 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 been uh it's been good writing music with your pals for the first time in a while. Right. Absolutely. Doing anything with your pals is awesome. Well, yeah. not necessarily anything, but like no, most fun anything. stuff. Most anything fun hurts. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Bad time to fun. ask the, what, what's uh, the rating for this, <laughs> this podcast? <laughs> fun swear. creative activities with your friends. That's, that's yeah. the way to do yeah. it with your, with your buddies. Just like you me and Ryan. With your bud. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah okay yeah so you guys form from a uh former touring band and like decide to like you want to keep making music with your pals and your bros so like in terms of and whatnot what have you in terms of like songwriting and stuff what do you guys like what what did you hope to like translate across like you're trying to get those good time vibes or do you got some sad boy stuff inside that you need to just unleash to the world I mean, I'll, I'll let the songwriter explain the the subject matter, but it's 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 sad. No, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I guess for me, it was like I wanted to do something that I hadn't done in a while, or something we enjoyed, like all together. Um, coming from like I played in a pop punk band like ten years ago, and hadn't really had that experience up until now. So just to do it again, I guess. I mean, we wanted to write something that was like real. Yeah but that we all like still enjoy doing and just, oh, yeah. I don't know. It, it was a little bit of a change, but. I mean, yeah, we, we come from, especially uh, even Michael and I come from such different backgrounds. Like uh, I stuck in prim primarily heavy music. Um, I, I love pop punk, but I, I stayed in like the primary, like, like gent, um, you know, progressive metalcore kind of stuff. And then, uh, and then, you know, for us to come together and make a pop punk band was very different for me, but I loved it. 
it was kind um, of a challenge to yeah, yeah to it, try it, to see like what we were gonna sound like like together because that's what third third band we played in together yeah kinda. this is the third band yeah. we played in together but i mean it's just like kind of like we have at least like you know like with the core members of the band we had like this kind of pack to always do something together now and that's that's um important to us i guess but yeah i don't know if we answered your question at all but <laughs> i like answer either way i mean that's kind of like a good attitude to have and i think a lot of musicians like probably those who are just getting into it or maybe those who have been into it so long they kind of forget like what's it's all what it's all about but just yeah. to have people that are dedicated alongside of you to wanting to complete like a message for a band or just sticking together through thick and thin and just continuing to release music and just keep going with the tide and momentum i mean that's always good it's good to oh, yeah corner, and to like but... and to bounce yeah. off that like it was something like um you know you play like your third really crappy tour in a row and like you're all just like staring at each other like oh, we forgot while we're doing this <laughs> at a certain point and and then it's time it's time to start something fresh when you're doing that when you're just staring at like oh this is a really like a third crappy tour in a row <laughs> and, like no one's into it and everything and you're like oh let's let's you you, you have to step back, back and go, to the drawing board different. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like for sure. So, like, what, what, like, I don't mean to pry and pick it, no, cat, but what that what, is our what, job, actually, Ryan. We should be prying a little bit, just a yeah, little bit. You guys are interviewing us, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we, I, we can pry I mean, a little bit. I mean, more in the essence of like picking at an old wound, like, oh. what kind of made you realize that these tours were shitty, like, but people didn't show up, or was it just like bad night? <sighs> Or it was shows falling apart vibes off vibes off i think vibes off for sure uh, <laughs> like me and john i think kind of clicked on it the last tour we were on we kind of like he was talking about just looking at each other like yeah we just we just kind of looked at each other and was like yep this this is probably it for me on it. yeah yeah like they were just like we it was just there was a lot of unnecessary uh band drama member drama and uh and it was just varying levels of you know like some people have family some people don't some people want, want this to be a career some people is like kind of a hobby for them um and we all just kind of said you know who's who's willing to stick it out if, if like we start doing a lot of stuff right now who's who's going to stick it out and like the pop punk thing we kind of me and john had kind of jokes before like maybe we should just start a pop punk band yeah i mean we, we were on that last tour joking let's start a pop punk band <laughs> and, and here we are <laughs> I don't know. We we were like I think me and John especially we were always kind of down to do stuff together. Like, yeah, I mean it's third band we played in, but we were always kind of like maybe we could start something else. And, yeah, that's all. It's always there. been yeah. Like let's start something else when when uh, things are getting stagnant and and uh, I mean it's just it's just we just kind of follow what uh, our passions at least. Um, yeah. And if this if this didn't work, we were probably gonna go to do like some uh, country. Or something. Yeah, we'll start like a country band or see what. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I mean, you're I mean, country pop punk very similar is more similar than people would think, but right. so it, it, it's sim it's more similar than I'm than I care to admit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It really. Is. <laughs> yeah. That's sure. like that's kind of like the big secret that a lot of people either don't know or will not say out loud except yeah, right. <laughs> uh, hell yeah i feel that but yeah. i mean that's good to know like when you're in a situation where like things aren't working out like i'm glad you guys had something where you guys could kind of bounce off of and be like hey like this could be the path that we should probably take and you took it and i mean are you guys are happy with the results i mean your album that just came out like a I I enjoy it. I I really enjoy Thank you. vibes it brings. Yeah. It's definitely got like a real clean like sheen of polish on it, and like you wouldn't expect that. You know, most people would be like, "Oh wow, this this band only has one album. It's their only album." You'd think it would be like kind of rough around the edges, but there's a lot of clean and like. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, people should go check that out. Oh yeah, oh, that's a great EP. Up the interview. Go check that out. Go check it out. <laughs> Opposite Ben still do it. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Lots of lots of very cool names, song names Thank on you. here too. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Y'all y'all are y'all are taking us back to a, 
a time when that was still a thing. Listen, <laughs> we, it, it it would be a lie if I said that wasn't calculated in the, like in like that we looked at each other and it's like, can we do silly names? Like, is it cool to still do silly names? Because like the I sake never of to be in a band. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> I never got to be in a band with silly names. I passed right by that. And like, I was like, can I please do silly names? But we say so much like dumb shit to each other that there's got to be like silly names in there that we have to keep. So yeah, y'all are just like the opposite of being silly to each other, and then. <laughs> I mean, that's not that far no. off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what was that movie? We were talking about the... Uh... No, I was trying to explain uh, the movie Along Came Polly to John. I don't know if you guys... Oh, know. yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I was Wait. trying to explain the other guy that plays opposite Ben Stiller in that movie, and I know he died. I can't. I couldn't remember his name, but it's... Bill I know you're talking Hoffman. about. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, but I was like, the guy who's ben Stiller. The and, guy who is... um who like at the end is like he also like Polly the whole time too right is that your yeah name? His yeah plays his like, friend the whole time i was like and i got caught up i was like what do you mean opposite ben stiller who's the opposite of ben stiller and like that, that <laughs> like, as dumb as that is like it's just like those conversations like that just like we're like that's eh, dumb enough let's make it a title yeah we didn't <laughs> overthink it after that yeah <laughs> wait was that the one with cameron diaz no that no. was uh and no uh, jennifer. Uh, jennifer aniston yeah Wait, did he do two movies like that where it's like maybe ben Stiller, like probably six, <laughs> so like <don't> worry. <laughs> formula I mean, yeah. that worked for him? For yeah, a I mean, I mean, I, they did this. Didn't yeah? It's, I could be talking about multiple movies. I don't yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they probably no. bl- like they're blending together for me at least. Let's get let's get four guys on a podcast to talk about '90s rom coms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right out the gate, we got along came Polly, and then you got uh something yeah. about Mary. It's the oh, same. Dude. Is it something, something about, about Mary? Mary? Is that the one? That's is that the one? one. Is that the one? Yeah, that's Cameron probably Diaz? the one. That's, that's, Diaz. that's, that's the one, one I was thinking of. I think <laughs> 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 at the time. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it has Ben Stiller and ben Cameron Stiller, Diaz, yeah. but then along came Polly has Ben Stiller and Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah. You gotta so get, whoever plays like opposite Ben Stiller, plot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. That's kind of why the name works. Yeah. Just kind of, I can yeah. just make up a bunch of movies that he's in. Yeah. Um, it's the deep lore, dude. The deep lore of Sleep City is written. You know, there's some lore. Right. <laughs> there's some canon. I think that- I think those are always the best song names, though. Like when you're with your band and you just guys have like you just shooting the shit and you come up with a bunch of inside jokes that just get repeated over and over again until they're like less of a joke and more just a funny noise that you hear and you can't help yeah. but cackle. Yeah. It, and when you can sneak those into song titles or lyrics or whatever, that's always, those are always the best. Yeah, the, the, that's the, the that's the thing is like, and like you get like you know when you when you get like bigger bands and stuff that uh, only they're biggest fans know like their full plethora of silly song titles and and like like i think about hot mulligan and their and their song titles i don't know if you guys like listen to hot mulligan but they have some silly song titles and and yeah like just the top you know tier fans are the ones that know all the long titles that don't mean anything really (laughs) and then the worst part is like when those bands play those long songs like on their set list it's just like condensed to the one word of the song like right yeah yeah the joke's long dead for them they're just like well let's let's play that one that that one i don't feel like typing is what it really (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah i mean that's pretty much it i i I do it myself too so i can't i can't even call that out (laughs) (laughs) it happens to the best of us yeah so yeah we were talking well i mean you kind of have to be able to see it real quick and be able to like you know what i mean like it's you yeah, can't just be you can't be reading out like a, a five word sentence yeah. for a song yeah. name when you're on stage yeah. like he looks back at me and says oh oh what song's up next i'm like ben stiller and like you right. know you know immediately ben stiller. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a for those songs yeah <laughs> uh. Dude, that'd be great though. You say Ben Stiller, and then he's just on Ben stage. Stiller. Just yeah. have the crowd like chant Ben Stiller. Yeah, it's like we're now welcoming. You guys ready for this? You guys, we got a big surprise for you. Just trying to get them training. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess if y'all get big enough and like y'all y'all could get an encore and the whole crowd would be like Ben Stiller. Oh, yeah. It's oh yeah, like yeah. Shouting in for the encore, that'd be cool. Yeah, and then we have to convince people that they're they're excited for us. Yeah, yeah. not been stuck. <laughs> when we post it online. <laughs> no, we well, have a song called Ben Still. Don't mean, worry. Yeah, no, no, no. It's for us. I promise. <laughs> well, like apparently, um, the Devil Wears product played in Dallas. Like it was like a third string thing, and like someone showed up and was like asking around, "Where is this the play? The Devil Wears Prada, oh. the musical, or whatever?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, give it the whole like bare naked ladies thing going on, um, yeah. where people were, like showing up looking for bare naked ladies. Naked ladies. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. They must have I mean, sent out there in concert. <laughs> yeah. They probably sent a lot of people home disappointed that they didn't see some real bare naked ladies. I can yeah. understand. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's just life. But I mean, we've touched a little bit on some influences from you guys, but did you guys want to share any like musical influences that kind of made you guys want to embrace and like take this route into a the soundscape that you've chosen for your path? You want to take this one? Yeah, I mean, I'll take some of it. Yeah, sorry. Um, I mean, probably when we were starting out, like, we we didn't know, like, the sound is, I think we wanted just to be, like, a pop punk style. And um, my biggest influence at the time was probably, like, Knuckle Puck. Oh, yeah. I yeah, was that, was, that was a big one, I was too. I listened to a lot of Knuckle Puck, and especially their sound from, like, uh, their album Copacetic or Untitled. No, it was Copacetic. Copacetic. It was Copacetic. And, like, I was really listening a lot to that and I was like, I love this sound. And yeah, and I mean like we just kind of had like a shared playlist that we were just like putting stuff on and off, like, hey, let's sound like this. And like the prevalent ones we ended up sounding with or I mean it's a lot of what you hear. It's very influenced by like tiny moving parts, hot mulligan, a lot, a lot of Midwest, like the, the newer Midwest sound, um, mm-hmm. twinkly open tuning stuff. And like, yeah, if you definitely if you like those kind of bands, check out anything special. But yeah. I like those bands. I'm, I'm, I'm glad those got mentioned because it's just like, you guys say pop punk and I was just like, but I hear like a lot of math rock and like. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's the new, it's the new pop, pop punk like yeah, that it, came out yeah. in the last 10 years or so or more longer than that. But uh, I mean. Because it definitely has that like seafloor cinema. Like that kind of adventure or like in angles. Yeah. Huh, yeah. A little bit of that gallery shit like that i dig it i enjoy it a lot that's why i was big we gotta gotta get this shit on the demo team podcast (laughs) (laughs) big preach man no i i I love like bands like that and i'm and i just wanted like what what if like you know we we took it this direction or like what if we added a little more like i mean we do have some like electronic influences and stuff and stuff and like um but like as far as the the genre itself, like, I, I just say, it's easier to say pop punk. Everybody knows what pop punk is um, anymore. Yeah. And, and, and Way harder to get my friends to, to check us out. It's like, hey, you like math rock? Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't like numbers that much. Or like, yeah, it's yeah. like, okay. it's like hey, uh, do you like emo music? It was like, no, I'm 30 and you are. Like, it's like, it's usually the- <laughs> But no, no, I just go I mean, with pop punk because it's easiest. <laughs> <laughs> I got some teen teen angst still left in me though. Yeah. So. I, Don't we I all like, right? I mean, that's why we're here. I think it's probably teen angst more than anything. At least yeah, me, right? Yeah. No, I, got, I still got quite a bit left in me. So. Oh yeah. Um, I'm fueled by a lot of teen angst in my thirties. I mean. It's oh yeah. Just, yeah. It's it's not it going just gets away. a little more and more angsty. But <laughs> it's it's all more bullshit happening. <laughs> yeah. Perfection. <laughs> Like my angst is so aged. It's it, it's it could be in a bottle of wine. It's so good. Chef's oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just the energy to go with it is kind of lacking now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just I'm just tired a lot, and that's what the songs are about. That's I think that's when the angst gets even stronger when I'm tired. I'm just saying. Oh, like. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like you know, uh, speaking of like getting older, and like we were playing our very first show ever like a, a few weeks ago uh, as this band and i was looking and i was like man i have a lot more 
daily pills I have to take than the last time I, <laughs> I played up. <laughs> I was like taking my antidepressants and my vitamins and stuff. <laughs> like, like, man, I have a lot more pills since before the, the pandemic and stuff. So like, um, but yeah, no. That is how it is, right? It yeah. What's it called? With the days on them. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got my organizer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They ain't ready, man. You're organized. You're ready. You're full yeah. of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's see. Moving along. Um, Do you want me to take one? Yeah, if you want to. I was going right. to. Uh, yeah, I, I got one in the chamber if you need to bounce the chamber? back. All right. I'm kind of I'm <laughs> curious. Uh, I mean, so y'all are from Tennessee, and I'm kind of wondering what is like the scene out like out there like y'all are like east tennessee right like right yeah uh i, would, I don't know man that good? Scene. it's it's weird it's like it's it's always weird and fluctuating and it doesn't even matter what genre you play around here it's it's i i, I, I love our scene don't get me wrong like I, I love the people that come out and support us like um and like and the music scene in general you have your regulars of course but it's it's kind of odd like it's 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 been weird in the past few years i think we're just getting back to the swing of things and i'm hopeful but uh it, it's hard to gauge anymore really i think as like us we haven't really had a chance to feel it out yet oh yeah yeah, yeah that's true too i mean we played in a hardcore band a couple years yeah. ago and then like <laughs> we just oh, the, those shows were so fucking fun yeah they, they, they were so fun like i wasn't expecting that reaction for some reason so like i i really couldn't tell you how our scene is because it's it's really it's really alive and changing constantly um, yeah but like it, it's definitely not as stable as you would see in the midwest for like this kind of music but it's there's been a lot of people come up to us and said they, they wish there was more stuff like right. this around here it's like we'll hear that a lot it's like there's not anything like this around here and that's like good and that's good and bad it's good and bad but the second i see another band here with that same style i, I, I will applaud them and i will be at every show because there needs to be more of this kind of stuff around here y'all are just gonna have to double book us now right yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. this, this yeah. is our partner band yeah <laughs> we'll just we'll just make two bands and then just like we'll all like rotate instruments halfway, like you know, like halfway through the show, mm -hmm. and that'll be the second band. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like that Much here works, in Dallas. But... It's like you get like Animal Jam, Golden Week, and like Backacre, and they're like the, and I feel like there's a few other ones, and they're just kind of like, oh, these are our, uh, you know, progressive post hardcore math rocky bands <laughs> yeah like ex exactly yeah. and like got the same kind of stuff. and and you have the, the the metacore genre is still pretty big around here and there's nothing against that like i, I like it too but like yeah that, that's that's the one you could definitely count on in east tennessee is is the metalcore uh the metalcore fans showing up definitely but yeah it's still good right. nonetheless all right I'm you guys found like a counterpart to like your sound do you guys like what if they were called like a wake town and like you yeah. guys could, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah a wake county a wake county, uh, a wake county. <laughs> that's like the uh they, that'll just that'll be your side project you they know? only they only have coffee at the merch table um, yeah, you <laughs> 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 I, okay, actually, have like, I, they have dayquil yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, like we're, we're sponsored by Nyquil. Um, <laughs> Nyquil chicken. <laughs> oh God, I saw that was in the I saw that was in the news a couple of days ago. Um, but uh, oh, what I was gonna say that there is a band around here that I really like, and that's a band that we're doing a split with here uh, here like next month. Uh, there's a band from around here, Fairview, that we've been playing quite a bit with, um, and they're super cool dudes. So so I I don't want to discount when I said this is not like a lot doing. There's not a lot of bands doing what we're doing around here, but th there are a few, like especially. Who Fairview. are they? Put them on real quick. <laughs> Fairview is a big one. Um, Popular Creek, are. we played with them. Uh, uh, Pop they're from Nashville. Yeah. Like P O P L A R. They're a super cool band. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, around here, I was trying to think of the past two shows we played because we're, we're still pretty green around here, but like, uh, uh, who's, who's that uh, that we played with at the highway? 
Oh. Um, crap. No pressure. I've just, I've just oh. completely blanked on their name and I'm not using my phone. Uh, I'm using my phone right now. Um, oh God, please. If only we, if only there was a way to edit audio so that we could edit it to the South. <laughs> well, well, we no, to I want it. them to hear you struggle. I'm just. Like, oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, God. I, I, I wish. I wish that we I could. Know they were from. They're from actually Asheville. Oh, they're from Asheville, which is, I mean, like only like an hour and some change away from us, right. to be honest. But like, it's it's weird because like we only have like like right across the mountains from us. There's a whole different scene with like a whole different set of people. Carolina. And, yeah. yeah, like right on the other side, like North Carolina, like right on the other side of those mountains. But, but there's like a whole different scene just in like an hour away. And, and, uh, cardboard box. Company. Cardboard box. Company. I didn't look it up. No, All right. no. <laughs> cardboard box colony. They were some super cool dudes. Oh, uh, they, yeah. They were like straight up like 90s pop punk. Oh, punk yeah. Style. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I loved it. All right. I can dig it. That's a mouthful of a name. I don't blame anybody for having a hard time recollecting that. But though, but yeah. though, but though now that it has been recollected, I gotta say that that's a pretty cool band name. Like cardboard, it, it, that's cardboard box really box. fits that genre for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. So I had one in the chamber, and I'm gonna have to try to oh, remember. Man. Is a blank now. <laughs> I will go to my backup chamber and be like, oh, you guys are sleep city. Does that mean like a bunch of turkeys live in the city because they have tryptophan in them? Oh, um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Yeah, that, that was, uh, yeah, that was. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> hard hitting journalism coming from the demo team. <laughs> As always. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I, I, I don't. I made that joke because uh, I wanted to ask, how did you guys come up with that name? <laughs> um, I wish it had a better, uh, like, I wish we had a better origin story. We probably need to make one up. You've told me, I think, multiple times. Um, and I still forget. There was, there was a band, like, oh, a long time ago, not a long time ago, like a few years ago, uh, called Rest Repose, who had, a, who had an album name of the same, like, title and it was it was one of those things where it's like that is such i feel like there's a whole concept there that's not being explored <laughs> um like it's just like a, like it felt like just like a throwaway name to them just like a, like one album a long time ago they didn't you know like and like and uh and like i, I took inspiration from that and like i love the aesthetic and like there's like a whole aesthetic and idea i guess in that in just the name and uh i don't know it's just like it was to be honest, it was in a pool of names we liked, but like, I, I don't know that that one was that one stuck out to me. It always stuck out to me. It was like a weird. Uh, it was very like it stayed in my head too, which was a good sign, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, that's a good test. I think if it, you if it's sticking in your head, I guess in your head. Yeah. Yeah. It like might for, stick in other people's head. Right. Yeah. For sure. It's it, it's easy to remember. That's always a good sign. Um, um, but like, I mean, we had like, we had like a living, breathing list of like a shared note and that one always like, it stayed at the top of the list for like three weeks straight. And like, that was like, that, that's when we knew it was like, I think one, it's, yeah. probably the one. it's probably the one we need to make logos <laughs> right now. <laughs> but yeah. Did you always have the comma in it or did that come along later? <laughs> that, um, is, is more of an interesting, uh, question. I, th I think that was more of like a marketing decision um okay like i i thought about name like bands like uh nothing nowhere bands that have like letters missing we thought about letters missing because when you search it it's the only thing that comes up is that specific way of like if you type in sleep comma city it's the, we're the only band that comes up right um and it was just i mean it, it was there was a little bit of game in the 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 system on on the internet but um but uh I, I like that aesthetic too of it, like it being like all lowercase and it being like it looking like a, I don't know, like a city uh, that you would see in the, I don't know, someone help me here. I mean, I'm <laughs> that's kind of Las like, Vegas, I'm, Nevada, sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think we use it really for like any Not, kind of like flyers or anything like that. We don't use it on flyers so much. It, it was more of like just like an online in, a thing. Um, 
just just making sure that like we were the only one that came up when you typed that in was like kind of important to me when we were when we were first doing it because I mean there is like a lot of a lot of sleep cities so it's, it's a cool sounding name <laughs> there's a lot of like ambience like <laughs> yeah. like sleep city yeah. stuff and it's like oh here's here's the sound of the rain right yeah like, like to make put some, your... <laughs> some quiet i discovered yeah russian electronic then, music <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah exactly or like yeah i mean like there's just straight up like here's the sound of water dripping <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah that too <laughs> yeah oh, with the and then, sleep city you got highbrow concepts like opposite of ben stiller exactly yeah, right Opposite exactly ben stiller it, we're a band that likes to make you think you know yeah. um if we're if we're not doing anything we're it's it's an educational band you have to do the required <laughs> watching to understand yeah. the song yeah the, the, there will be a quiz yeah, the name will get you into it you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i didn't know there's so much commitment to this band <laughs> yeah. yeah so much yeah. to went into it we really should make it easier, but uh, that's, uh, you no, only get the best. You, gotta, you, gotta you only get in. the best fans if, if exactly if, if there is a long and tedious process to become a fan. There, the, <laughs> we are full on gatekeeping, but yeah. like in a whole different way. <laughs> I'm gatekeeping my own fans. Um, <laughs> that'll teach them. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll show you. <laughs> How dare you? Oh yeah. It's always good to punish the ones you love. But <laughs> with your new EP, it's your new EP you believe that uh, next month it's a split, correct? It is a split album, yeah. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So with this new album, with like the song titles, I'm sure will be like interesting, but like in terms of like the songs like message lyrically, what do you think like you guys are going for? Is it kind of like bleeding? Like, are the band's lyrics bleeding into each other, or is it just like two separate bands' ideas coming together on one EP? I'd say two separate ideas. I think at first we had kind of we were trying to match up a little bit and kind of make it all seem I don't know I guess cohesive. Yeah, to where that what we were kind of talking about, what they were talking about, but we kind of just did our own thing. Yeah, we kind as of far made, as I know. Yeah, we made we made it our own thing. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, I, I guess it depends on whether whether you're talking about uh, if you mean between the last album, or last EP, and this EP for us, or you're talking about the split between both bands. I guess I answer both questions. I meant for between both bands on this one EP, but I mean, I'm sure like lyrical concepts would be shared between both your EPs. Oh yeah, I, of, I, of course. That's similar. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'd say. So there's two songs on it from us, two songs from Fairview. And uh, I would say probably one of our songs is maybe more of the happier song that we've had. There's happier sound. Yeah, yeah. I guess. It was definitely more upbeat than the other one. Yeah. I, I think uh, I think it, it will be kind of a departure but uh, of what we sound like so far. But you only have six songs to go off of. So. And then the other one, like I feel like maybe the saddest that we've had because he's in the studio. Uh, the dude tracking us asked what was wrong with me if I was okay. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I we have a really happy song on there. Y'all are just That's kind of a downer. I don't know. Expanding yeah. your range in on yeah, this yeah. split. Yeah. Right. Of course. That's so cool. your most happiest and your most like making people concerned for your well being. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Like, it's... You should be both entertained and concerned by our new Very <laughs> manic. Very <laughs> manic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, Fairview, like, they're going to... I'm sure they're sad. The yeah, I'm sure <laughs> they're sad, too. <laughs> I don't think they're sad. <laughs> I got to say, I kind of want to, like, go to Tennessee and, like, see y'all. See y'all and y'all's Fairview and all y'all's bands now. You're, it's kind of intriguing now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sounds like, cool it's yeah, it's like, yeah, it sounds like a cool scene. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a cool scene for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's. I wouldn't stay long, but yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been, so I mean, I don't a know. Couple days. Know, like... what, what, what do you think it's like? 
in Tennessee. I mean, like it's I'm that. from it's Texas. That. Like I, it, 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 it's <laughs> I definitely, I'm from Texas. My dad's from Louisiana. I've definitely seen like, you know, Southern, you know, whatnot. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah, There's a lot of Southern (laughs) whatnots everywhere. Oh yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, no, it's, it's the, the scene's great. Like I, I love, I love the guys in Fairview. We, we, we're each other's biggest fans. When you see like us at shows and stuff, we're, we're always like the ones in the front talking of like singing each other's lyrics and stuff. I always like that. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm glad we did like a little split with our pals. Start the yeah. pit, get everyone hyped up. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, you need that. <laughs> like, um, when I was at a show recently, it was venture and they gave me a free, uh, beach. They had beach ball, a beach ball for their merch. And I was trying to get it going <laughs> in the crowd. And like, it would go like, three tosses then just like fall on oh, the ground that's it oh like, that's sad i know oh. it's just you gotta <laughs> so sad. yeah I've, you gotta get people going for sure I've, ne- I've never been at a show with a successful beach ball i i wish <laughs> i mean i i have for sure but those were like you know like major lasers something like that. yeah yeah <laughs> so it's not really I'm the a, same thing but uh, yeah i just oh I, man yeah, that's yeah. sad. You got you gotta like you gotta keep tossing the beach ball. That's kind of the yeah. Point. You gotta keep it in the air. Like it's, it's yes yeah. for the it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Support, yeah, if you don't keep it in the air, we play more songs. Yeah, we'll we'll so keep playing. Keep, we'll just keep playing until you toss that shit. Yeah. <laughs> toss the beach ball and your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> toss your ass, please. This next song it's called Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> This song, the uh, when we recorded this song, um, they said they wondered if I was depressed. Uh, anyways, please toss your ass to it. <laughs> yeah, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> this next oh, song is gonna slap the throat. We're back. So, oh. With recording this new uh, EP that you guys were doing, was there anything you guys were like listening to to kind of get you guys like hyped up to get into the headspace for recording or just stuff that you like listening to that gave you some solace or a break away from what you were writing? Mm, I'd say, I mean, probably for me, like I listen to, well, me and John listen to a lot different stuff we're very different but yeah we send stuff like back and forth to each other it's like hey you check this out or like is there anything you should recommend um, yeah we like list, a, we listen to like a lot of like synth wave music oh yeah yeah a lot, a lot of synth wave it, it's so different from everything else we play but yeah like uh we listen to synth wave i mean even even there's like rap songs and stuff that i will send to michael and i say i like the vocal effect on this we should do we should put this in there right and stuff and like i mean we, it's it's everywhere we we it's not just like very similar music that we used to get in the same headspace so like it's it's all over the place oh right, you got outsourced source to find new ideas oh, yeah. for sure yeah. yeah you can't just yeah. be i am i am the curious. same wells i am curious. oh yeah for sure i'm curious what kind of synth wave do you listen to like we talk about like some the- or very some divisive dance? <laughs> um i am a huge fan of time cop if i'm going to call out one i'm a huge time cop fan um um i guess do you want to give one too um i mean i'd say definitely time cop for me but i mm-hmm. tried the, mainly the midnight the midnight's a good one fm84 yeah. um i'm trying not to sound like a dummy <laughs> the synthwave community um i try to find new ones all the time and like here like just to discover something new and see yeah. you know and even then try to find ideas but like uh sunset fm sunset fm uh we, like, we totally don't have a secret synthwave project between the two of us <laughs> it's a wait town yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but no no we, we're all over the place um even even in the synthwave genre 
I mean, what, what, what you got, Ryan? What, what you got for Synthwave? Yeah, I, know, I'm curious. I, I when I first heard Synthwave, it was like I don't know, but at this point, it was like ten, like, like at least ten plus years ago. I remember uh, Miami Nights, nineteen eighty four, is like super solid from back mm-hmm. in the day. But yeah. I mean, I kind of got into it when like Carpenter Brut was like taking off. Like Turbo Killer was like one of the bigger ones that just oh. taken off. But yeah. Damn, Dead is super sick. I really like them. I had them like agree to come on the show once, and I'm still waiting for them to hit me back up. <sighs> but I dead a lot. Um, Perturbator is good. Dan Terminus. Um, there's tons of good. Just oh, all, like, yeah. It's I I didn't know what like how deep that rabbit hole went when when I first found out about it. Like <laughs> oh, like in terms of like monthly listeners and stuff, like Synthwave is like comparable nostalgia core like yeah hard metal core like they 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 rest around in the 100ks 300ks oh yeah have, like it's not like as obscure as i thought it used to be you that, know that's like that every time i like every time i looked into it over the years I, like i thought that it was like yeah. wow this is this this gets yeah. some plays like I mean, every time i every time i like with like i, I think i listen to this like band that no one's heard of <laughs> it's like one of my easiest yeah. playlists to listen to. <laughs> yeah, well. like the yeah. playlist to that. It's like so easy. Oh yes, yeah. I could be doing anything. Oh yeah, love mm-hmm. synthwave on our. So it's always best at night with the neon lights. You know. Oh always... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good oh, night. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's how I found that was from like Probably, night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they had that whole. Uh, I believe there's a rumor at one point that uh, was it Mitch murder. I think. Or, uh, the guy he was in Drive, like his Drive is responsible for like synthwave taking off a little bit. But they had that uh, for Grand Theft Auto Five, they were supposed to have like a synthwave radio channel, and yeah. that's I think that's how I like got back into it. Because I remember listening to Miami Nights like in the early two thousand like twenty tens, and then like I kind of like it fell off for me because it's like not many people were making that kind of music in like two thousand eleven yeah. as well. And then I got back into it like 2015, 16, and there was just so much more to it at that point. So I'm always glad to hear people like Synthwave, and I'm glad that a lot of people mistook what the 80s sounded like because music was not that good in the 80s. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it, it honestly wasn't that great. But uh, yeah, but actual, it's interesting seeing it being made with modern tools. It, it, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely cool. Like the, like the best synth wave was usually just John Carpenter soundtracks from movies, and even then it was, it was uh, Miami Vice soundtracks. <laughs> when they're driving yeah. down the highway. <laughs> but even For... still, to that point, like even like um, you had all that, like like the Commando soundtrack and stuff like that. Most of it was just done with like a little like a, a keyboard. It wasn't like yeah, like heavy. a single right. like synthesizer yeah. and like a, a sequencer and just a loop. Yeah. And like uh, the, the shittiest kick drum samples in the world is just like yeah. they definitely like synthwave is a, a glamorization, a romanticization of what '80s music sound like because it was not that clean. It was not that. Oh fat. no, no, you know, <laughs> no. But I love it regardless. Without a doubt, hell yeah, dude! I always like talking about synthwave. But uh, Cash, do you want to field a question? Um. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we haven't asked somebody in a while. What? We haven't asked people what? about food. Food? <laughs> you want to talk about food? Yeah, we can talk about food. We I mean, y'all y'all were like y'all been on tour before. People. Let's let's talk let's talk about um what what city do you like want to go back to because of the food? Pittsburgh. <laughs> I just think immediately right. I, I love because they put I french fries in, the, in their sandwiches so, i i went to yeah, yeah from, from oh no <laughs> I, I don't think so but i don't want to be yelled so. at yeah yeah i think it's okay yeah. okay yeah he, he already that likes, was good because like i don't i'm picky i'm a picky eater too you, and you we are very picky put a bunch of stuff in a sandwich like i'm not going to be down with that but <laughs> i i was pretty okay with it my answer though would probably be like kansas city when i had like, right. uh, kansas city barbecue oh okay this was in like a, a band like 10 years ago but that was that was pretty great. i think they're still doing barbecue though you think so? i don't okay. think they might still be doing i hope so <laughs> i hope that never ends 
uh, COVID and everything. Yeah, it's just like they're still, <laughs> still making barbecue down there. Um, Is that like yeah. still a thing, barbecue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I mean, I loved Pittsburgh. I loved, uh, shoot. I had, I had a deep dish pizza in Chicago. I don't want to get into it because like 50 percent of everybody will get mad at well, me well i mean like i don't think me or ryan really have an opinion on it being that he's from california and i'm from texas like i don't really i don't think i've ever had real chicago yeah. pizza so i don't really care oh, and like we want people to get mad at you now come on okay yeah um, i don't yeah it, i don't get i don't care at all like, it, it was great seems good listen before just think about what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> My it's the best pizza Chicago. I've ever had. <laughs> My family's from Chicago. You gotta come there. It's it was great. Uh huh. It it wasn't pizza, and it was free. It, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was free. You know, it was it was great because I didn't pay for it. It was like sixty dollars a pizza. Holy moly! Like no, those nice pizza places they'd be charging a lot for. Pizza. Yeah. Holy God, pizza. I'm just a I'm just a simple country boy. It's like a cake. Yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah it's like you're buying like a real pie or something yeah like a full right. pie not from the grocery store either no i remember like there was this place in austin and like like i used to live in austin and um like they would it was like almost a hundred dollars for a whole pizza there and i'm like that's oh. no way oh and like that's people so and like i'd be doing like doordash down there and i'd deliver and it like the only people who'd buy would be like rich people who were having a party. Like no one would just like buy it just to eat for dinner or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh that's, man, that's that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. Uh oh, what, what you got in Texas? I haven't been to Texas. I want to go to Texas so bad. So uh, what, what you got what there? We got in Texas. Well, I mean, obviously like brisket. Uh, but you, the thing about brisket, like like barbecue side of things like you kind of it's more than just no, going to like the good places like the place that everyone knows like you gotta like the main thing no, you, for yeah, me i can't. think is you have they have to have the brisket like heat they can't just have it out on a table and slicing it they have to keep it like in a heated area yeah, or else it right. yeah. you. that's like yeah that's like a big thing for me um i mean mexican food is just like oh yeah but I mean, you gotta have, you gotta, it's not, you're never, you're not gonna get good Mexican food in like Austin. And like, you gotta know the right parts of Dallas, but like San Antonio, you'll get good Mexican food. Oh, for yeah, sure. yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And then Houston's like, I, I mean, like, I've, like, I, I was born in Houston. I lived there, I, but I only lived there for like my first four years of my life. I haven't really lived yeah. there since, but like, I always hear like Houston's just like a food paradise. Like, I'm not sure it is. A food paradise, but you can get like anything you want any time oh. of the day. So it's like, you know, Vietnamese food, Thai food, Chinese food, like all, all anything, oh, yeah. like Mexican oh, food, yeah. like, yeah, I don't know, like whatever. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's yeah, like, you know, yeah going to like new york city or something like that like that kind of yeah. oh yeah i'm sure yeah like i i just and there's in and out food wise at least not otherwise <laughs> yeah you guys got in and outs there because yeah we got in and out because i had we had our first in and out experience when we went to nam in 2019 and is like i'm sure people from there say it's not very good but it's he bought a shirt i, <laughs> this guy bought I don't a like in and out a lot it's like <laughs> I think I the like big that. thing is they have fresh vegetables on like everything. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. That's like that's like the big thing. It's like if I want like I want a burger, but I want it to be kind of healthy, like I'm going to In N Out, like hundred percent. I don't think I had a healthy burger when I went to In N Out, but I mean, <laughs> well, I mean I'm no, sure it's the somewhere. vegetables are fresh. That's the thing. It's yeah. not that the burger is good, it's that the <laughs> vegetables taste fresh. It's, that's uh, it's the like big I, thing I, I don't think I had anything like like healthy in there <laughs> when I went. <laughs> It's the, it's the, uh, you know, you can kind of pretend like it is. I mean, we got Whataburger too, but Ryan will, um, you know, I don't want to start that conversation with Ryan. You guys brought up food. I had Arizona Whataburger. Okay. Maybe that was the fault of it, but yeah, that burger tastes like shit. (laughs) Whataburger. It's, um, you gotta order. You need If you go there, you got to get a guy to take you. So you make sure you're getting the right thing. I, I but I mean, it's not even that hard though. But it's like I think you sh- you probably need a little bit of direction. It's a little bit like yeah. I mean, it, it's options. It's one of those that has like good places and bad places, I guess. 
Yeah, that too. There's like definitely like good water burgers to go to and bad water burger chains. Our, um, our first Jack in the Box experience was not pleasant. No. <laughs> <laughs> there too. It was like three a.m. It was like I three a.m. That's yeah. kind of just Jack in the Box. I think. <laughs> They're usually not very good. I was like, uh, yeah. I mean, we're just like looking at each other. Like, is this one of the bad ones, or is this one? Of the good? Like, the, I think they're mediocre. all kind of consistently like mediocre. From oh my no! <laughs> okay. I will, like, I will end at Jack in the Box's defense. When you get the chicken sandwich and you get the buffalo sauce on it, it's pretty freaking fire at three a.m. If you're stoned enough, and they get the oh, chicken, yeah, like. I'm like, sure that sounds good. Their munchy menu thing, like that stuff is delicious. But like, that, it's also like, a, you know, you can taste yeah. that it's crappy food for sure. It's yeah, like, it's like, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's, it's like Taco Bell. Like, you're not going there for like a great time. It's, exactly. it's, it's 3 a.m. It's like, there's only like two things open. It's just, like, what color mush do you want to pay for? Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like these, like those fries, like at least half of them are going to be stale at Jack yeah. in the Box. And it's, yeah that taco is going to look like terrible it's like oh, crap yeah. the lettuce is going to be brown but it's yeah. like it is what it is and like there's yeah. not that many options open late these days too yeah what are you eating but, calories um, especially in tennessee we, we have we have a bad problem we're like right in the bible belt so there's right. not like like everything is closed by like 5 or 6 p.m because god will be upset oh yeah, yeah. um <laughs> you know how it gets yeah you know how it gets. i mean when, when these days open and- late these days, it's just like Whataburger, Jack in the Box sometimes, but like not always. A lot of times you go Jack in the Box late at night and it's like, oh, sorry, our systems are resetting. And I'm like, y'all said that last week. Yeah. It's, it's like you might as well just, go, you, you might as well just put a well. picture of a middle finger on the front door. <laughs> exactly. It's just like, why don't you just close the restaurant? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I don't think one. you're managed. You're, the franchisee isn't going to find out. He's not awake checking. <laughs> Yeah, there was that not getting my hopes up. Change, yeah, California. That was just a the hot dog place. Oh, Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm oh, sure Wiener Schnitzel. Schnitzel. We, me and Ryan love Wiener Schnitzel. Oh yeah, I love That's, that place. I thought it was pretty good. Like, that place. We went to we went to the one in San Diego. I, I, I'm a location drop, I guess, even though I don't really know that place that well. It was in Chinatown, and it was all ran by Hispanic people. And I was like, what a beautiful cultural moment. Yeah. In the middle, in the middle of Chinatown, <laughs> eating at a German fast food place. <laughs> Just what a beautiful Absolutely. cultural moment! <laughs> um, it was great. That's it was how it be these days. Right? <laughs> it, was, it was great. Yeah, you don't you don't see that uh, when you when you get to the south or like this part of the south that much. It was it's very it was very great. I loved how diverse it was. In the yeah, that's you cool. don't you don't get that here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like it's a beautiful cultural moment. <laughs> I mean, like a big thing in Dallas is they have Chinese Mexican food restaurants. So oh yeah, like, yeah, I've heard like, about that. I, I've yeah, since heard about that. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like the best quality, but it usually tastes pretty good, and it's yeah, like kind of cool that you can, you know, yeah, go there and like fusion, get your like cheese, whichever one. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like A for effort. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need. It's like, well, I, what? What do I want to eat? Calories. I just want calories. Like. Exactly. I'm just trying to like, yeah. I mean, that's the big thing these days. It's like I don't got that much money. This shit better last, right? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a broke musician no matter what. Like, for sure. Absolutely. And then another big thing that's in Texas and like Oklahoma, and I probably I think Kansas, maybe Arkansas, is Brahms. I never heard of it. That's like a fast food burger place, but also they have um. I mean, that's also like ice cream and like milkshakes and stuff there, but also they have a whole grocery store, like mini grocery store attached to the restaurant. And I mean, obviously the burgers are delicious. And like, but the thing about Brahms is that whenever Dallas like froze o- or Texas froze over like oh yes, yeah. a year ago, I live like a block away from Brahms. <laughs> and so, or like not a block, a couple blocks away, a few blocks yeah, walking mean, it, was, it was a good like, walk. It was a good yeah. walk to get there, but like they literally kept me alive because I could like go with her and buy yeah. groceries. Yeah, like, like I'm sure there wasn't very much like. Yeah, yeah, it's like you could get like I bought you know I get like bread and like I don't know like sandwich meat and things like that That's there. So huge shout but, out. I mean, to great burgers too. Yeah, yeah. Rums we'll is great. Check, check that out Rums. if we ever go that way. Yeah, we will have to check that out. Absolutely. I usually I get, like, 
Cash describes bronze is basically how I would describe the Oxo, which is in Mexico. That's their version of like Circle K Seven Eleven. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's one on like every street corner. Like you can't, like you will see them like within like mile radius of each other. Oh, they, nice. They put them that close together, but I'm, I'm always thankful for them because they're like everywhere. So if I ever need to get something or grab a soda or get some water, because water yeah. is very here in mexico but you yeah, know, yeah yeah bless those little food chain places that just got oh yeah everywhere. oh and the big one in dallas i just thought of you gotta go to fuel city at night but you have to you can't go there sober it won't be the same fuel city fuel city tacos it's like oh, okay. it's a gas station but they have their own little taco area attached to it or like okay. a restaurant and it's like a stand really not yeah not that, a restaurant. That, that, that sounds where you go we'll to go, get good tacos like the, at night that's, that's you know, you it's, yeah they're not nearly as good if you're sober though. you Fair gotta enough. be drunk and then it like Fair hits enough. perfect and like it's yeah. crazy out there like you, there's like everyone who owns a charger goes there at night and just hangs out basically of course yeah of course yeah we got a couple places like that <laughs> absolutely no that, that place is awesome i love it i love that's cool. we'll yeah, actually, to i didn't even know there's a few of them in dallas too and i mean there's like other things kind of like there's like fox or whatever fuels mm. or whatever but fuel city the yeah. original the og fuel city it's like that's and it's just a good time hanging out there honestly heck yeah so mm. like bands that go on like i mean you guys talk about being on tour you go to all these cool places was there like bands you guys saw like growing up that you were just kind of like wow that makes me kind of want to do the whole music thing i like was there any like moment like that for you guys seeing musician or band on tour or at a festival or on tv or on, <clears throat> on mtv whatever it may be <laughs> I, I can't say that happened to me that much uh i mean my both my parents were musicians that's mostly where i got it from unfortunately like you know they, they did not uh you know if i ever have kids they're going to be accountants whether i you know like it <laughs> or like <laughs> they, they, they're not gonna follow my <laughs> footsteps but uh but yeah that they, they didn't tell me it was a bad idea so i i also played music um but i i mean i didn't really think about touring at all until i mean my dad told me stories of when he was on tour like when i was a teenager but no i i, I can't think of i can't think of a, a band that i saw like that no i'll say the same for me really i didn't <laughs> I didn't really have a moment where I was like, it's kind of what I like want to do, like the touring band. It's like, this is, this is, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, a, like with you, like your parent, it's like my mom was a singer. So she was always yeah. like singing music. Yeah. It's just then I picked up guitar, went from there. Yeah. I'd say maybe closest thing would be seeing uh, Lincoln Park at, uh, I think, Project Revolution in like virginia beach i don't know it's like 2007 2008 nice. something yeah. like that seeing them i mean i don't know what it was that was probably a clutch performance it, it was great shot me yeah. out. <laughs> but i seen them in like chris cornell and that was like always a oh cool, yeah like concert or show memory for me so <clears throat> i think the first time it hit me was i think the first time i was on tour i was like i think 20 years old and i'm like yeah it's this it's this this, this is, is it, it. Yeah, like this is like I mean I was playing like crappy bars like oh, all up, yeah like all up and down like like it's like a five day run I was like just turned twenty years old there were some places I had to lie about my age to get into and like <laughs> and I was like this is it like I've I've never had more more fun like doing anything any singular thing than not showering for seven days straight and like. <laughs> <laughs> and play into like threes of people <laughs> nothing, nothing like, uh, taking a like a nice little bird bath and a sink with some baby wipes just trying yep. to stay yep. somewhat yep <laughs> <sighs> good times good times yeah uh, uh do you have anything you wanted to ask cash um i don't know i can't think of anything right now <laughs> We covered a lot of stuff already, but you got anything, Ryan? Um, I'm trying my best just to not have, like, I'm always trying to speak because I hear nothing but a jackhammer outside my house. Oh, the... God. Oh, my God. Well, I can't hear a jackhammer at all, so I think you're, yeah, probably, I I think you're good. 
I always make sure to speak while it's going on. That's that's what, what I try to do is time it. But here, look. You don't hear. Wait. No. No, I don't hear anything. <laughs> but you know what? I'm sure when I like edit this, I bet you I'll hear like jackhammer noises that I hear. Because a lot of times you hear noises that you didn't hear when you're editing. Yeah. It's like, huh, yeah. how did that get in there? Yeah. In the mix. <laughs> like, you know, I'll, I, I trust y'all, but. I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't hear it. I guess yeah, I... I was kind of wondering what is your like songwriting process and like has it changed between uh your first EP and your split EP that you're making right now? Yeah, it has it has changed a bit. Um I mean there was there was a lot of time in that first EP where we were just trying to figure out what we wanted to sound like and that was like the biggest struggle but it it has become more streamlined like I will say like um usually it's just Michael and I sending ideas back and forth. And then, and then as soon as he'll send me something that like, I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Or something like that. I will just try to get like a rough demo out, send it to him. He puts vocals on it and then we kind of share it with the band. Uh, but it's been more collaborative over the past little bit where we're, we're all like throwing riffs into the pile. We just have like a vault where we have like riff ideas and stuff. The and riff then, vault. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then anytime any of us feels like, uh, you know, going in, see what's see what's in the vault. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, we, we got we got a vault in a graveyard, and that, that that's kind of how our process is because we are kind of we are kind of spread out like a bit as as a band. Um, I guess we haven't mentioned that very much, but uh, Michael and I uh, we're, we're from East Tennessee, and uh, our bassist is from North Carolina, right on the other side of that mountain, and then our uh, guitarist is from Nashville, so it's it's not very close. Um, so, so we do a lot of writing and stuff remotely, uh, but uh, yeah, we got the vault. We're, we're a vault kind of band. <laughs> Open the vault. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing wrong with that collaborative process. Sometimes people, yeah. you know, write freaking bangers, and I think you guys are proof positive of that happening. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Very appreciative. Yeah. Let's see. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? Maybe what we haven't covered that you feel like yeah. should have been, uh, and we are um, not at. Nothing that's coming to mind. Uh, uh, I, don't want, I mean, I don't want y'all feeling like that bell at the ball that's like wanting to dance, but we're not. <laughs> no, I mean, staying uh, against, the, say, wall. I against the wall, against the wall, up against the wall. Would be like uh, just you know, with a split coming out. Yeah, please, please keep uh, follow like follow us just to check it on Instagram. I think it's at Sleep City Band, um, yeah. and then at Facebook it's at Sleep City. You know that that's coming out, so please follow us there. We still got you know the first EV that we put out this year. Uh, anything special is still up there. Like anything people say, nice, bad. I don't, I don't care if it's bad. Yeah, just, just take it down. Listen, listen yeah, to song. Listen say very critical reviews of especially the drums and vocals yeah yeah let them and be vocals i don't think i have any critiques to be honest so <laughs> I, I think you're doing that, pretty dude. well <laughs> i appreciate that like, you, you see we don't know how to take compliments that well it's like if you told us we were off we're like yeah yeah we can have a conversation about how awful we are yes we were <laughs> yes yes we did not do well <laughs> well that's not what we're gonna do here at least <laughs> yeah all right let's go all right now you guys are horrible i'm just kidding yeah it's all right it's, it's okay man <laughs> i get it's it right. be real. keep your day jobs <laughs> yeah yeah just playing don't keep yeah. your day jobs embrace music never, fully never Thank ever you. ever never keep your day jobs on anything. never it's not worth always it. be always be a stiff breath from quitting your day job that, that's I how to have a successful i am every you, day. yeah every day like if you just go into that saying like oh man like i am this might be the day this might be the day where i pursue music fully that's that's yeah you always just be prepared to <laughs> yeah just gotta be a lot better yeah Today is the day fellas <laughs> yeah I think, I think this might be the day <laughs> we better we <laughs> hope that single's gonna start doing real well <laughs> or whatever you know <laughs> hell yeah but um i mean looking back on what you guys have created so far i guess everyone's big question would be do you got any regrets things that you wish you did differently or 
stuff that if you had a chance to do or like, like maybe not regrets but like you know lessons you learned i guess oh every, I mean, every, I think... <laughs> every project every show i play like I, I try to get like some kind of lesson from it but like uh yeah I, I, if we were calling them regrets i wouldn't say like i'm one of those people that just says yeah i was you know like if it wasn't for that i wouldn't be here right now on this podcast yeah. or like like if it exactly. wasn't for like yeah like if it wasn't for that the, that album coming out at that specific time or like like you know like the, i don't the, i think that would happen a lot it would be a lot less likely to happen i guess so like I, yeah i'm not i'm not like a person that dwells like dwells on that too much but every everything has lessons every show i i you know i've been playing music for 15 years and i played a, my first show in nashville and a few and then i came away with like oh crap like the, this this and this has changed since the last time i played shows like i i i try to see it as an education otherwise otherwise I'm, i would hate myself a lot of the time um <laughs> it's if, a if progress give, if, yeah if i were to give any like any prescriptive advice to any other musician yeah it's like yeah that if you if you can't have a good time have a good story and if if uh if it sucks try to learn something from it <laughs> like, <laughs> like on that though it's like i kind of wish i was having a good time doing this like sooner oh yeah you know, like, like the, this it, like i was started this that's the biggest started. regret i would say yeah just like, i don't know it's if you're in the like a situation you're not you know enjoying music or whatever it's change like, it up you don't want to just keep yeah put yourself calculated in. like calculated but right. like but don't don't stay in something you don't like because you're supposed to be liking doing this stuff you're supposed to like this stuff That's exactly this is this is kind of the takeaway from our our daily stress yeah like depression whatever it's like, yeah if it's just the band like adding to that i guess I'm yeah it's that. not like you're, you're not you're not you're not having fun yeah, yeah. that goes with for a lot of things in life i think honestly yeah I mean, I guess you can just grind shit out too, but I'm not that type of person. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's you can, yeah, find enjoyment in things. Yeah. Be your relationships or like, I don't know. I mean, even sometimes just changing your mindset, I think, work does wonders for yeah. people. So, oh, yeah. 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 So, like, if, if there was any lesson I took from anything in the, my past few years, like, if you're mm-hmm. unhappy, change it up because you're supposed to be having fun. Hell yeah. And yeah. I think music being like an expression of the soul and just kind of like that creative outlet for people. If you're not having fun with being creative, like imagine trying to cr- like, you know, if you're coloring a coloring book or trying to paint a picture or something, if you're not having fun. Yeah, can you yeah, imagine being like, pissed off doing that? Yeah, like, There's <laughs> lots of unfun things that you can do instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, and real. they probably pay better and have better benefits <laughs> yeah yeah exactly exactly yeah. like if, if, if i was doing this if i was like playing music and it sucked like and it didn't pay very well <laughs> like, and, like, it was like, yeah, like <laughs> for real i think when stuff starts to suck and it's not like giving you the benefit you know you got to try to find something like either fun out of it or just like you know change lanes and find that fun it lane is- at least step Absolutely. back and say like what about this is sucking and what can i do different yeah and, it, but, and if it's a different endeavor do something well kind of like for like me and john especially like i mean when we got like a slow moment in sleep city we kind of just mess around with other stuff yeah we, we try to we try to find some other place we can pick up even if, even if it is within sleep city like if it's okay like the, the music's slowing down let's start focusing on merch or something right like we, we, we're always like we're always good about keeping each other accountable, like taking a step back and saying, okay, what's working, what isn't? And like, yeah, I I would consider that like the biggest lesson I've learned. All right. I think that's that's a solid lesson, I think. And I think it applies to a lot of things in life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poignant words, man. I like it. I love it. And I'm very happy. I like like that word, poignant, too. Yeah, it's a good word. I'm just cash. You, your light is blinding me. It's that time, I guess. It's, it's the lens flare. <laughs> the lens flare time. Watch. Uh, oh it's wow! The, uh-huh. It just looks like you have a silhouette of a seven on your face, just the way yeah, that it is. I, know. <laughs> I look oh, yeah, like I David Bowie or something. Yeah, it looks like you're looking out like a seven-shaped window. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I think it's like 
the sun shines over my head and then the part that doesn't hit my head reflects off the oh, mirror that's behind that's yeah. in front of me and reflects onto oh, my face God. yeah like I think a, we're gonna have to start adjusting the time as we do these interviews, maybe like an hour or two early. <laughs> yeah. <I'm scared. laughs> so I don't turn into a sundial. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get the weirdest tan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just happy to get a tan at this point. Yeah. I miss the outdoors. <laughs> I I remember oxygen. That was great. Yeah, that's that was nice, you know. When it wasn't pumped out through like a vent, you know, that's because I live underground apparently. Um, right, you live at the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it's that's why I want people to believe it's really like a like a tunnel that leads like six miles underground, and I live in this like subs like basement. It's like that's the truth that nobody like several wants. several locks, like several complicated locks on your doors. <laughs> You hear that? Several. Just like the number seven on your face, Cash. Several. (laughs) (laughs) Well, alrighty then. But I think um, maybe now more than Recent listens? Yes. We need those recent listens and kind of like we usually ask our guests before they depart, like what have they been listening to recently? Stuff that you like or maybe buddies and bands you want to shout out in case, you know, Whatever you want to do, like the floor is yours for music. Not you, Kat. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, 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 I was just. Oh, you know, no, I mean, when you said that, I was like, are you talking to me? But <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were just trying to figure out who to start uh, first. Uh, uh, do rock, paper, scissors to decide. You're also <laughs> welcome. You, you can use your phone to look at Spotify. I, it's, it ain't nobody going to judge you if you need to. Like, it's hard to remember shit, especially when you got to remember. Yeah. Ryan, you were talking to, during all of that, so I didn't even get to see who won. <laughs> I, I won. I won. It was, it was, uh, I think, I think I it was. Oh, yeah. Did you go? I think y'all went I rock, won. rock, and then pa- rock, rock for the first one, paper, paper. Then I didn't see what y'all did last. I had uh, scissors. Yeah. And I, 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 I lost on paper. Yeah. That was rock, paper, scissors is a terrible game for an audio medium. <laughs> you just hear this, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's, it's not good for an audio podcast. <laughs> uh, but if, uh, let's see, like, I mean, I've been jamming like everything from Fa- uh, Fairview. They, they, they do a lot of stuff. Um, but they put out so much music, like, constantly. Uh, they have a Blink cover uh, album, I think, coming out sometime. I don't know if we can say that, but we just did. So. But yeah, I mean, I don't care. I, you, you can't edit. Welcome. You can't edit audio. Um, uh, I I've been listening to. I, I listen to a lot of rap. I listen to a lot of hip hop. But there's a there's a local uh, rapper, Mobby, that I've been a huge fan of. He's he's from the North Carolina area, um, especially. N- now I'm now I'm killing time so that Michael can pull up stuff. <sighs> no, I'm doing kind of, you're good. Is that all you got? I'm, I'm I'm trying to think of like like real. Cause I mean, I got like, yeah, yeah, the new JIT album's good. The new Kendrick album's good. Like they, they don't need my endorsement. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of like, like real, like, you know, people that could benefit for some, yeah, uh, for some views, you know? I mean, definitely Fairview. Oh yeah. Me, uh, especially like their EP came out, I think around the same time as ours did. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, getting ready to like do a split with them also started listening to a lot of their stuff. And, yeah. I, I, uh every band we played with I, I try to listen to at least a couple times uh so like every band i mentioned before that we've played with um um god i'm trying to think uh, uh i've been i've been listening to bing quad that they're bing quad, yeah. they're kind of a newish uh, yeah, m-way m-way excuse yeah, we, me who are you from, yeah the, the uh, wisconsin yep madison play- wisconsin we play with them and check them out for sure um I think of like newer stuff I've listened to. I'll, I'll send you stuff all the time. To check Stars out. Hollow. I, I, lo- I love their album. Uh, uh, I want to live my life. Like I, I'm a sucker for concept albums. And if, if you are too, listen to that one. Uh, Stars Hollow. They're from Iowa, I think. But, I think so. But uh, yeah. A uh, band called Driveways from Boston. I listen to them a lot. They're like a pop punk, easy chorus style band. Nice. I listen to them a lot. Um, of course for like bands that like everybody knows like i'm always listening to counterparts or nothing nowhere yeah like 
yeah, it's like, my favorite stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah. Oh. Listen, listen to Fairview especially. Um, All right, I'm I sold. I want to listen to him now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can you can listen to them right now. It's yeah, they're on it's your world. Yeah, they're on Spotify. It's <laughs> <laughs> a free thing. Go. For- yeah, maybe we should hit him up and interview them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. That was the Everyone, truth. we're actually Fairview. Yeah, the, the, we're actually Fairview. We just keep like <laughs> just y'all, y'all can be Fairview this. hype people and like you know yeah, go up on yeah, stage with yeah, them and could. just like oh for sure yeah yeah, yeah. I do, yeah. oh we, we kind of do we we kind of do All right. I, I love shouting out my friends that's why I like I was trying be. to think to trying to think real hard if I had like uh, any any band that I, I hate to forget somebody but like um. Yeah, definitely Fairview, definitely Stars Hollow. I love that album. I, I love that. Uh, I want to live my life album. I think that came. There's out. also a band I was just telling John about before this, like uh, from Nashville called Sleep Spell. Sleep Spell, yeah. I just started listening to them, and they're pretty good. They, they're like they're a smaller band, but yeah, they're definitely. I have to, we'll have to get on a tour with them so we can do something sleep related. Yeah, that's really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, the we, we the tour around tour. and stay at a bunch of hotels. The snoozy tour. <laughs> yeah, the, the sleepy tour. The um. <laughs> The, band, the, the uh, me, 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 sh- me, me, <laughs> hawk, shoe, hawk, shoe, tour. <laughs> <laughs> Going memes. <laughs> yeah. Going memes. Yeah, are you more of a hawk shoe or a, or a me, 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 sleep <laughs> city fans? Oh, uh, that, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a saw, like sawing a log. Like a log sawing or, or like a, a several sheep going by kind of sleeper. I'm a buzzsaw with a jet engine, mm. but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well. I mean, um, one thing I wanted to ask you guys that way we can uh, punctuate the end of this episode with yeah. it. When the day that your new EP comes out, do you guys have a date for it? Or is we it cannot like- tell you yet. It I don't know when this podcast comes out, but it'll be out mid October. It will definitely know. be that out might be when this podcast comes out. <laughs> That's perfect. So we're we're kind of we're right a little. Now. I mean, we're not behind, but we have a we have I think three Back. episodes ahead of y'all so, so. You, you'll be three weeks fine check it out like yeah. check and see if it's if it's dropped by then if not listen to anything special we've we've announced it so we, we've announced it yeah i we, think we're gonna start right. like talking about it a little bit more here yeah it's soon it, we're yeah, gonna it, have to anyway, it should but, yeah it should be out I mean, by mid october so if this if this is out please go check if not listen to yeah, there's special. really nothing else that happens in october there's so. nothing i can't think of anything one thing so yeah not one day do yeah do, if, if it's on a sunday if, if you're just sitting on a sunday <laughs> turn off your tv and go go go, go listen to the split if it's out <laughs> hey, go, go run around trick or treat with it it's gonna be a yeah. great album yeah yeah exactly Absolutely. like eight minutes <laughs> yeah you're gonna love it <laughs> yeah hey i mean like y'all y'all dropping two albums in one year i think is very cool um are y'all gonna yep. continue to be as this prolific? I I like the idea of releasing like a like I don't hold me to this like several years from now, but like I like the idea of releasing like as much small albums as, as you could. Absolutely. Just like just yeah. saturate it. Yeah, just saturate it with with different like little works and and use it to kind of see what you know, see what sounds good, see what doesn't. But yeah, no. I think, yeah, I think you got to. Yeah, I think that these days, yeah, but like I yeah, always be on the lookout because there's probably a Sleep City EP either just released or is about to release at that point. Then yeah. <laughs> Sleep City's right behind you. They're always dropping albums. They're they're fishing <laughs> yeah. the vaults. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll, stuff. We'll we'll go we'll go into the vault anytime and Get pull out heavy, songs. Got like very heavy pockets, man. You just got albums falling yeah. out your pocket every so often. Yeah, That's yeah. A... <laughs> I can't hold all these song ideas. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah but anything else cash or are we good i think we i think we got some pretty good stuff right here hell yeah wait while we're ahead right yeah. want to play rock paper scissors real quick ryan rock paper scissors and you shoot what, what are you doing <laughs> 
I don't know. I was like, I was thinking about like, should we like say something or like, should we say the whole thing? But <laughs> it was, it feels really weird doing it like across. I think it only works if you're in the same room. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Like, right now that we're synced up like that. Not with that attitude. There's a lot. Not with that attitude. <laughs> well, I have to my head, so I guess I could cheat if I wanted to. I could be like, rock, paper. <laughs> No. <laughs> was that a gun? Was that, is that a gun? <laughs> you know, we're doing we're doing old school rock paper scissors where you can where you get to do the you know lightning bolts and. Oh, um, I got it all. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we're... It's gonna... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, play... I don't play your cheating games, Cash. That's. But I... I'm sorry that we had we we had the variations. I, I got the DLC for rock, paper, scissors. Oh man, <laughs> nice. <laughs> New scissors <laughs> just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> but without wow. a doubt, Sleep City, thank you guys so much. Thank for you for having us. You guys. Yeah. John Michael, you guys are awesome people. Thank you, you got a lot of stories for us here today. We're very appreciative of you. Um, of course. Thanks for having us. Of yeah. Shout out your social medias again, just one more time. That way people can find you if they find themselves at the end of this episode looking and getting hungry for social media content. Yeah, it's like, man, I just I just need some content. <laughs> um, it, it would be Sleep City Band at Instagram. That's Sleep City Band and Sleep Comma City on Facebook. That way we're the only one that comes up. You'll see the badge. You'll know it's us. Hell yeah. Please hang out. We, we we're kind of funny sometimes. I think y'all are very funny, actually, from based Thank off you. the uh, hour and a half I've conversed with y'all. Yeah, we're yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all seem it. silly fellows for sure. We, we yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, this that's, interview is probably about as long as a long came Polly. So yeah, no, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting right up there with Ben. Or there's something um, about Marion. Uh, they should just do a box it, set. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Really. It, whichever one is opposite of Ben Stiller. I mean, I think something about Mary, the thing about that is that like they had like the musical transitions and yeah, uh now kind of controversial Brett Favre at the end. Um Ooh, Ooh, yeah, 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 that, that was yeah. that was a, this movie. What a choice they made. <laughs> they had no idea that what he would do. What Brett Favre <laughs> would do <laughs> 20 what like 15 20 years later <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> cancelable yeah but thank you for having us yeah, um, <laughs> of course <Yeah. laughs> thank you for coming on come back whenever you want oh, I, we'll, yes, we'll make time you. this is a good Shoot episode call, yeah yeah we'll, we'll, we'll bump brett Favre off for y'all god is he coming on next week because I'll, I'll 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 take that spot <laughs> Uh, actually, we we have we have um Brett Far Fridays, Far Fridays now. Oh, so. Far Fridays, yeah, yeah. Far he's he's a regular guest now. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, popular one. <laughs> They're very controversial, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, hell yeah. Um, I guess I think we should end it here. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm done. <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's end this shit. All right. Y'all have and a good uh, one. Hey, you love, too. Love, Thank you. Love, love, love you too. I love you, mom. <laughs> I don't know how to say goodbye. Yeah, I, I don't know how to get off phones. We, we don't even All get right. off yeah, phones. Yeah, me too. Okay, this yeah. this is kind of just the problem we have. I mean, I, yesterday I just kind of cut Ryan off mid sentences. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm stopping recording now. On this. All right. Me too. Ready? Later. Let's go. Yo, one, two, 